Hi there, this is Steve, and in this video we're going to learn how to calculate percentages in Excel. And there are a lot of different ways that you can calculate percentages, but I'm going to give you a real basic introduction and give you a couple of tips and tricks for how to do it well. So to get started, we'll just jump over into an example and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so in this example we have a few columns. First we have our cost, and we can assume this is the cost of an item. And real quick I might actually format that as dollars. And then we have the discount percentage. So let's say you've got, you're buying a phone or something, pretty good deal for a phone, and it's going to be 15% off, so that's your discount percentage. Then we're going to calculate the discount amount and you can just do the math here in your head. You can see that 100 times 15% is $15. And we're going to do a formula for that. And then we're going to do a formula to calculate the final price. So we're going to take the total cost times the discount. And then we're going to subtract out the discount to get the final price. But before we get into that, I want to show you one little thing that's really important when you're using actual percentages in your formatting. And you'll notice if I click on this, it says 15% here and it says percentage in the formatting up here. Okay, but if I'm going to go down here and I'm going to type in 15 and hit enter, and then I go back into that cell and I format it as percentage. So I can just click here. Look what it does. It says 1500%, 1500%. So the moral of the story is you have to do it a different way. So let's delete that. You can either type in 15 and then actually type in a percentage, which is shift and the five key. Now when I hit enter, it's going to actually be in there. And Excel will see you do that and it will automatically format it as a percentage. The other way to do a discount or to show a percentage would be to just actually put in the percentage, which would be 0.15 and hit enter. And it still calls it 15%. But you can see when I click into there, it's still just 15%. Okay, but to do that I did 0.15 because that is mathematically what 15% is. Okay, so that's just a quick side note. Let's look at the formulas. So when we go into this one here, I'll just do the formula for you from scratch. And so we'll delete that and we'll click into there and we'll say equals. That starts our formula and what we want is our cost times the discount amount. So we can just click on this one, hit an asterisk to multiply, click on the discounted amount, the percentage, so it's going to take 15% times the cost, and we hit enter, and that gives us our discount amount, which is $15. Then over here on this guy, I'll double click so you can see the formula for this, so what we're doing here is we're taking our original amount and we're subtracting out the discounted amount to get our final price. And so we take the cost minus the cost times the discount, which is 15%, and we get our answer. And the reason we do it this way is because if this was gone, this column was gone, then our formula would still work. In fact, I'll show you. I'll delete this column. And you see our formula still works. So it's not reliant. I'm going to control Z to bring it back. It's not reliant on this discounted amount column. But again, looking at that formula, we take, basically, if you look at this part right here, we take $100 times 15% right there. And the answer is $15. And then we subtract $15 from 100 and we get $85. So that's how you can figure out the amount that something would cost based on its discounted price. 
hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you hopefully in another video, or if you want to join one of my courses below, I'd love to see you in there. And you can check those out in the description. Thanks for watching.